Bible Space Time. What was it like before the Noah's Flood? There were no hot summer and no cold winter. The way of planting and harvesting was very different. There was no dark night. Night has become darker since the time of the Flood. Read the following Bible verse. As long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night will never cease. Genesis 8:22 and all animals including all the birds and surprisingly all the fish in the sea were friendlier, just like pet dog. Read the following words. The fear and dread of you will fall on all the beasts of the earth, and on all the birds in the sky, on every creature that moves along the ground, and on all the fish in the sea. They are given into your hands. Genesis 9-2 How could they harvest without seeding? I think you didn't understand correctly. Bible didn't say that there was no seeding required for farming. It said, there was no seed time. That means, there was no specific time in a year that they had to plant seeds. They could plant seed any time of the year. And so was there no specific season for harvesting either. Farming was already being practiced before the flood. So, having seed time and harvest does not mean starting agriculture. It means starting clear seasons and weather changes, as it is mentioned as cold and heat. Was there no day and night before the flood? Yes, there was. Day and night had been existing from the first day of the creation. Then, why did it say that day and night will never cease? Bible didn't record how the function of time has changed from the time of the flood, but we know that Adam and Eve didn't have to sleep at night. They were never tired and they didn't have to rest to regain energy, so they didn't need to have a dark night of rest, so their night must have been bright like our day until the time of the flood. But Bible said, the sun will be the chart of the day and the moon for the night, and the moon is smaller than the sun, so the day should be brighter than the night, and if the night was much brighter than our night, then the day was also much brighter than our day. Therefore before the flood, it was bright night and brighter day, compared to our dark night and bright day. And that is why Bible said that, day and night will never cease. So, before the flood, nobody was sleeping at night, like us. That is possible. Nobody, men or animals, was really taking regular sleeping time at night. At that time all living things had totally different biological clocks, as our biological clock runs according to the time of our nature. Was the firmament damaged by the flood? Some Christians believe that the changes of the weather after the flood was due to the partial destruction of the firmament, and they quote the following Bible verse. In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up, and the windows of heaven were opened. Genesis 7:11. They assume that the water divided above the firmament fell to the ground during the flood, and so they believe that part of the firmament was broken and it lost a layer of water, which supposed to surround the Earth's atmosphere from above the firmament. But, the firmament was not a solid wall, it was an empty space, in which God created and placed the sun, moon and stars. The waters that placed above the firmament was not in the firmament, it should be outside of the firmament. So it is kind of nonsense to believe that God drew the water across the solar system, to use it for the flood. So, the windows of heaven doesn't mean that God made holes on the firmament. Yes, God didn't have to make holes on the firmament because firmament was not a solid object, and there was no water inside the firmament. How much water was divided under the firmament? In the beginning, the earth was formed out of water and by water, and God made the firmament in the middle of this water. So there was enough water under the firmament that could completely fill entire Earth's atmosphere. Then where did the waters come from? Bible said, they came out of the ground and fell from the sky. So it is certain that, there were gatherings of waters under the Earth's surface and in the sky, possibly surrounding the boundary of the Earth's atmosphere. Before the flood, there was no dark night, so it is possible that the Earth's atmosphere had a mechanism to diffuse the sunlight more, evenly and this mechanism could be the possible layer of water. 
Regarding the temperature changes, Bible mentioned about the coming of the hot and cold seasons after the flood, were these waters also functioning as an insulation keeping the earth warm also? No. The earth was not freezing even before God created the sun, if the layer of water was used in connection with maintaining the earth's temperature properly, it was most likely used to block the heat from the sun. Did the absence of the water cause the hot summer and cold winter? No. Hot summer and cold winter are due to the tilt of the Earth's axis. But, if the layers of water had remained intact, the temperature change could have been much milder. But in the beginning, even before God created the firmament, the Earth was formed in liquid water, not frozen ice, and God even created trees and plants before He created the Sun. Then how did the change of the distance from the Sun cause the cold winter? Yes. The Earth was warm without the Sun. The Earth must have been created with self-sustaining heat energy until the Earth was cursed, because of Adam's sin. Even though Bible didn't mention directly about the weather change after Adam's sin, if the Earth itself had been cursed, then all the things connected to the Earth must have been cursed, and because of that, the Earth must have lost the self-sustaining heat energy. And because of the same reason, other planets such as Mars, might have lost their life-sustaining energy, and become a desolate place. Then, where are all these waters now? Scientists believe that there are lots of waters under the Earth's surface, as much as the waters on the surface. So we could assume that, lots of water had gone back to under the ground, and some waters were left on the Earth's surface forming huge oceans, covering 71% of the Earth's surface, and the waters came down from the sky must have been disappeared from the Earth, just like somehow Mars had lost its water and turned into a desert. In the book of Revelation, it is said that there will be no more seas, then why did God create the sea on the earth? Yes. Currently there is too much water on the earth. 71% of the earth is covered by water, which is very disproportional, but that cannot prove that it is how God created the earth. If the earth is made for human, then there should be more dry land than waters. The additional waters came down from heaven during the flood must have caused formation of unnaturally large oceans. What Revelation mentioned about the absence of seas does not mean that there will be no aquatic animals in the new earth. If God had not made any large enough waters that could contain thousands of aquatic animals, then God wouldn't create them. Thank you for watching Bible Space Time.